I just don't know. What do you think, Crawford? Do they get the job? Well, uh, I don't know either. You're the mayor. But you're my deputy. As much your decision as it is mine. Well, it's hard to say. They look keen enough. Oh, we're certainly keen, sir. I think you'll find our resume is quite impressive. Experts in damage repair, clearing up, and good excuses. Insurance claims our speciality. I just don't know. But why don't you let Paul and I give you a demonstration of our wide range of skills? Couldn't do any harm, I suppose. Good idea, Barry. Show him your typing. I'm not wearing a tie. Not your typing. You're typing on the typewriter. Oh, typing. Now, what am I good at? Oh, yeah. Cup of tea, Your Worship. Oh, tough. <laughs> I'm up to a hundred words a minute. A hundred? Well, that's a remarkable speed. Show us. What's this, then? A hundred words a minute. hundred letter A's. Well, A's a word, isn't it? Here you are, Your Worship. We've got no mugs. You'll have to have a cup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'll get you another cup. Yes, well, thank you for letting us know. It's been confirmed, sir. The civic ceremony is at four this afternoon. What? This afternoon? Well, that's impossible. It's next week, isn't it? But the council did mention the possibility of bringing it forward, sir. When? Nobody told me. I mentioned it several times, sir. Anything wrong? The future of my position's at stake. All the town bigwigs will be there. If this ceremony doesn't go well, I'll be a laughing stock. Shame. Oh, they're a vicious lot round here. Surely not. What? They got rid of the last murk because somebody noticed he was wearing odd socks. Now, oh, if that ceremony doesn't go smoothly, I'm doomed. We only have a few hours left, sir. We'd better get on. We could always help. What, you? Well, I think it's our only option, Your Worship. You might as well give them a go. Right, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll take you on for a day's trial. If you shape up, I'll take you on permanent. Met up, and you ship out. Sounds fair enough. But please, no more slip-ups, eh? Don't worry, sir. You can rely on us. So what's our first duties? Chairing an important meeting? Advising on vital town issues? And when you've washed his hat and ironed his robes, you can polish the chain. Right. Yes, sir. It's all set up for you. And here's the polish for the chain. And lads, let's be careful, eh? Ah, you can rely on us, sir. Good. Right, Barry, you do his hat and coat. I'll do the chain. Hardly the posh and important job you thought it was. Ah, well, Barry, you've got to start somewhere. Once we've proved ourselves, we'll hit the big time. It's set to boil wash. Eh? Well, that could be nasty. You better put it on cool. Right. Apply to surface, leave for ten seconds, then rub off with a dry cloth. How's the chain coming along? This is coming up a treat, this. These robes are coming on well. A nice cool iron, that's the secret. That's it. Hey, you see, once we set our minds to it, we can do anything. How's it going? Good. The chairs are in the field for the ceremony. Could you go and lay them out? Follow me. Don't want to take any chances, Barry. Oh. I better turn the washing machine off as well. Can't be too careful with the mayor's things. Come on, lads. Top, top. I'll give you your instructions on the way. OK. Opposite the town hall, work backwards. That's right. I'll start over here, you start over there. Work backwards. Finish? Me too. Hey, we've done a good job there. Yeah. I reckon we're going to, um... Uh... Why have you done that? Well, why have you done that? I was doing as I was instructed. You couldn't have done. I was. Hmm. The mayor wants his clothes back. He's waiting in his chamber. 
Well, bring them round, please. Chop, chop. Come on, Barry. We'll sort this out later. It's all go. Well, we'll get this lot down to the mayor's parlour. Uh, Barry! Oh, I thought you'd check that. I did. Well, you didn't do a very good job, did you? Well, what about you? The mayor's chain looks a bit on the tarnished side. What? Oh, oh, oh. Ten seconds, it said. That's all I did it for. Plus the ten minutes we were laying out the chairs. But how? At least the mayor's hat should be all right. Wait. Oh! Oh, dear. Well, that's not going to fit, is it? I just don't understand it. Lads, lads, come on, what's going on? Haven't you delivered the clothes yet? Uh, well, we're just going. Lads, you are going to have to work much faster than this. We have so much to do. If that civic ceremony doesn't go well this afternoon, well, it could be curtains for the mayor and us. Oh, dear. And we wouldn't want that, would we? No. We're doing our best. Of course you are. Now, take these with you. And after you've dropped off the mayor's clothes, you can finish the stage. It needs painting blue. Right. And there's a speaker system to set up and a few bits of carpentry to be finished. OK. Well, chop, chop. Him and his chop, chop. Now what are we going to do? I'll tell you on the way. What about this? Oh, well, it's only in the back. We'll be all right as long as he's not got a mirror. Is that a bit of gravy? Oh, I've given up on you. Come on, give us my robes. I'll just move this out of the way. Why? They can be unlucky. Only when they're broken, surely. Not always. No, leave it. I want to see myself in the outfit. Hope you've made a good job of it. One of our best. Mm. Nice. Uh, choice velvet, you know. Very select. <laughs> now the chain. Oh. Mm. It's looking good. Yes, it is. You sound surprised. Amazed is more the word. Yeah. Allow me, sir. Oh, just as you wish. There. Mm. Feels lighter than usual. Yes, that's all the muck I've taken off it, you see. I must say, you lads have done a grand job. Thank you. <laughs> I'll just have a look at the back. <laughs> I'll just straighten this for you. Oh, thank you. So what are you doing? Uh, just giving you a brush down. Oh, nice. Very nice. But do you think this shirt's a bit grubby? Oh, no, 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 that's fine, that. It's whiter than white. Oh, we better make sure. sure let's don't... have a look. Oof. Giving the shirt a, a brush down, eh? Yes. Good lad. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> uh, fetch us me robes, will you? Yeah. You know, you boys are beginning to impress me. Thanks. I don't mind telling you, when I first saw you, I thought, there's a couple of right uns. Uh, but you're beginning to prove me wrong. Great. Right, me chain. <laughs> Allow me. Oh, good grief. What's that up there? What? I thought I saw a heron. What? Heron? In here? No. Must have been a trick of the light. Yeah, light. Yeah. Isn't it time you boys were off? I mean, that stage isn't finished yet, and the ceremony's on in a couple of hours. Yes. Why don't you have a nice, quiet sit-down for a while? Well... That's right. Have yourself 40 winks. No, oh, well, something I could do with it. <laughs> I want to be fresh for this afternoon. That's right. You just sit there and don't move. Until the paint dries. Eh? Uh, da, 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 da. What he means is outside on the stage. Yes, the one we're about to go and paint. Right, well, go on, away you go, lads, and don't let me down this afternoon. If things go wrong, I've had it. Hello, fellas. Where have you been? I need you to finish the stage. Well, we're just on our way. Good. Get a move on. You know, this is turning out to be a very busy day. Why did the mayor's chain melt? Because I made it out of those chocolate coins we bought for lunch. Aye, half of those were mine. Not now, Barry, not now. I'm getting to the end of my tether. Come on, lads! Chop, chop! Chop, chop. chop. This stage is in a bit of a state. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll start over here. You can start painting the stage blue. Right, good. Barry, 
Pass me a hammer. Thanks. Idea. What do you mean? Practical jokes, giving me a rubber hammer. Well, while we're on the subject, what about this tin of blue paint you gave me? What about it? It's yellow. Well, that's funny. Oh, no. Look, there's another tin there. Try that one. I'll set the microphone up. How's it going? Why are the chairs all like that? Uh, it's Barry. He put us the wrong way around. I only did as I was told. So did I. Well, they should be facing this way, towards the stage. Now, get them changed, please. Chop, chop. Whoever gets this job is going to have to do much better than this. Oh, yes, I realise that, but the thing... What do you mean? Whoever gets this job? Well, there's only one job going, didn't you know? And let's face it, if you keep messing up, the job's going to go to him, isn't it? That Barry. Well, didn't he tell you there was only one job going? No, he did not. Oh, funny that. I wonder why. I wonder. having a look round. There's going to be a lot of painting for whoever gets this job. Oh, we don't mind. We've done a lot. Whoever gets this job? Yes, there's only one job going. Didn't your brother tell you? No. He said that you'd been having a spot of trouble today. Did he? You're not going to paint the stage this colour. Erm, um, no. I stopped. Well, where did you get that paint? Paul gave it to me. Well, that's not very nice, trying to get you to botch the job. He wouldn't. Would he? Right, better get on then. Yes. Now. No. No. Maybe. Maybe. The banner's your job. Of course it is, silly me. I'll stick to the paint. Give it to me. Give it to me. To me. To me. Don't you think enough's enough? And what's going on here? Oh! I knew it was a mistake taking you pair on. You've got trouble written all over you. But I'm going to make sure that you pair never work in this town again. Get out. You're fired. Billy Barry, I didn't do any of those things. Mayor's hat, his chain, your paint, nothing to do with me. The same here. Hello, Petula. It's me. Hey, isn't that Mr Crawford? Do you think we should go and say goodbye to him? I suppose so. He might put us in the good books with Mr Mayor. Right. Yes, all going perfectly. Just how I intended. No, they arrived promptly at night. He's talking about us. And my hunch was right. They didn't have a clue. Yes, well, it's all right, miss. Um, but it's due to start in ten minutes. And imagine the humiliation. A mayor who can't even organise a simple civic ceremony. 
Yes, well, what can he do? He'll have to resign, and as his deputy, I'll be the new mayor. He's after the mayor's job. Not much gets past you, Paul, eh? No, it's a knack. We'll have to act quick. Right, we'll go and tell the mayor. Mr. Mayor! Ah! Andy Valley. Take him away somewhere for half an hour. Where? I don't know. Bring him somewhere warm and comfortable. Somewhere they can relax. He looks as though he could do with it. Mm. While you're away, I'll make a few extra renovations to this stage. Right. Oh. What are you doing? Why didn't you knock? No time. We've got some very important news. Uh, yes, well, so have I. I'm afraid that neither of you's got the job. Good day. The mayor's indisposed. What? And all the people are arriving for the ceremony. You'll have to take over. What, well, some other time? It's an essential part of the deputy's job. You'll have to get out there. No, it, it's quite impossible. Why? Is there some reason you don't want to do it? No. No. Oh, of course, it is with great honour that uh, I welcome you all here at this ceremony today. So what now? Well, I told you, Barry. I'm an expert joiner and carpenter. So you repaired all the things wrong with the stage? Well, I wouldn't say repaired exactly. What would you say exactly? Made worse. And we hope that you appreciate the time and uh, effort that we have made today in your honour. And that uh, it reflects our opinion of you, our esteemed guests. Come back. I'm sorry. Mr. Staff, please. Organisation, grace and dignity. <laughs> oh, yes. Time to go and see the real mayor, I think. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. What can I say, lads? There's no doubt about it. You boys have saved me from the axe. And I'll always be grateful to you for that. So what about the job? Do we pass? With flying colours. Brilliant. When do we start? You don't. What? Well, I can't afford to employ you, Per. Why not? There's the cost of my new robes, the chain wants refurbishing, and then there's my hat. And all that paint wants cleaning up. I mean, what do you think I am? Made of money? Just a bit. <laughs> the Chuckle Brothers are back next week on CBBC. Stick with us, see it, saw it, and Microsoft still to come. And the fantastic Les Bob is helping us out with a bit of mime.